Spartan Race's signature obstacle. Makes even a veteran athlete nervous and practically guarantees burpees to a newcomer. No take backs or redos on this one. Once it leaves your hand, you're either on your way or in the pit. I'm David Funk here at Camp Rhino in Las Vegas and today I'm breaking down the spear throw. So this video is going to be part one, where I want to focus on the proper form to get a nice straight shot from at least a short range. Now first off, if you don't actually have a spear, any broom handle, PVC, dowel rod around three quarter inches will work just fine. If you can, weight one end with like a tennis ball or some tape or anything to replicate the weight of the spearhead. So let's get into it, shall we? Starting off with the hand. I like to say, server bringing your food, good. Killer holding a knife, bad. If your spear tip's hooking off to the side when you throw it, this is why. Because even after you release, your hand's still in the way from here to here, and even the most subtle crossover of the arm is gonna push that spear off to the side. Here's how we're gonna fix it. You're gonna take an oath. Preferably, I will never do burpees on this obstacle again. Then you're gonna take the thumb and index finger, and you're gonna press them together like this. And this little crook right here is where you want the spear to lay. So it's in line with the arm, not across like this, okay? So we're taking the oath, laying the hand back, putting the spear in it, server bringing your food. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the spear tip, move it forward until it falls off the hand. When it does, we're gonna catch it with the thumb and index finger. So we move it forward, falls off, and we catch it, okay? If your spear tip kicks up when you're throwing it like this, it's probably because you're holding too far forward on the spear, and this is the solution. The amount of weight's gonna be up to you, but you wanna feel that pressure in your hand right here, so you know that the weight's in the front of the spear, not the back. Then after that, these three fingers are just gonna lay on with enough pressure to keep it from flopping around when you start moving your arm. So just a little bit right there. Moving on to the arm, like I said, this is gonna help keep it straight, but if you're still winging it off like this, it's gonna hook off to the side. This is a spear, not a baseball, and this is Spartan, not the World Series. Okay, so we're gonna take the spear, nice light pressure, holding with the thumb and index finger, all that good stuff, nice straight line. We're gonna move forward. Now you'll feel your wrist get tight somewhere in here, and if I keep extending my elbow the spear is gonna have to move down because there's no more flexibility in my wrist this point where the spear is still nice and level and I feel that tightness in my hand I want to do a quick little snap like I'm giving a high five so I'm gonna go slow till I get the tightness snap high five slow high five you'll notice my fingers are staying on the spear until I'm here and then they peel off for that high five if your spear tip's kicking up and you know that you have plenty of weight in the front, this is the reason you're letting the fingers off way too early. So when it's off back here, when you go to do a quick motion like throwing it, it pushes the spear tip up. So you wanna keep that pressure until we're ready to do a full release. The javelin comes from all the way back. So instead of going here, I'm actually going to extend this way. So if you're comfortable doing this, great. If you're throwing off in all kinds of different directions this way, try and go from the ear first, okay? But remember, both of these have to get into that release position with the elbow forward and then the arm going straight. Like, instead of hooking around like this, imagine you're in a tight little space. So I'm here, I'm in real close for the dart, going this way, and even if I'm way back in the javelin, I'm gonna try and brush the spear right by my ear, so it's more just the elbow rotating at the shoulder, into that position and then given the high five the exact same way. A good thing to do would be practice up against a wall. This is gonna force you to come in, keep it tight and come straight. You can watch the spear against the wall and obviously if you hook too much, 
gonna drag, it's gonna hit, or it's gonna run into it. So we're trying to stay back here, keep it like this, in tight, and releasing through. So we're going here, here. If you just focus on that spear staying in a straight line, your body's gonna move the way it needs to, to keep it on that line, okay? This goes all the way to the end. So when I'm here and I go to release, this is where I'm holding the spear. So if I lead with the pinky, that twists because my hand starts to do this, I'm trying to bring my thumb over the top. If you point with the thumb, this way as I release, you'll notice when I go here, the spear would be laying right here. And as I go, now it's just laying on my hand and it's gonna fly right off the top of my hand. My hand is already under it and my fingers have peeled off naturally. So here we are. We've been practicing our grip. We've got it in the palm of the hand, weights forward. We are leading with the elbow before we release. If we're working on javelin, we've been working on a nice tight thread so it's a straight line all the way through. We're pointing with the thumb so our hand rotates under the spear and the fingers peel off smooth, everything like that. Here's the big secret reveal. Aim. I know it sounds absurd like don't forget to breathe or did you plug it in? Here's what you want to do. Okay, think of it like shooting a gun or bowling or anything. You want to aim dead center and then just see where you hit. Okay, this is telling you what your body's doing. Let's say you hit low left. The next time you throw, you want to aim and try and throw at the upper right hand corner and the spear will drift to the middle. Because you're not fighting what your body does naturally, you're adjusting to what your body does naturally. So like I said, the focus of this video was to get proper form and get a nice straight shot from at least a short distance. So this is probably about 10 feet away. Your shot should look about like this. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If it helped or if you just think I'm a crazy person, please let me know in the comments section. As always, like, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for my next video where I'm gonna be talking about adding power to your spear throw, using arc to cover greater distances, and watching that tether so all of this work isn't for nothing.